Hi there guys, it's John here from Evolution Golf Lab reporting with my swing tip of the week. Down here at the Golf Lab today, we're talking two things that are very, very important, a couple of track bear numbers that we often forget. One of those things is dynamic loft, and the other is attack angle and how our attack angle or how we hit our golf shot, how we attack the golf ball, really does affect our dynamic loft. So I've got my MP5 Mizuno irons here. I'm gonna be using my seven iron for this little test for us today. The first shot that I'm gonna play is a shot with a particularly steep attack angle, and I'm gonna show you the track near numbers in a second, but getting steep on the ball tends to make us do, and this is what I see in a lot of my clients, is that we hit the ball pretty low because we're attacking it from a steep angle, uh, and therefore we're not getting the ball up in that sort of optimal range where we wanna get it. We're getting the dynamic loft really low in our shots. Now, the effective loft of my seven iron is about 34 degrees, okay? So we're gonna have a look at the track man arms in a second. I want you to have a bit of a look and see how you know trying to hit it steep or getting a little bit steeper with our attack angle is really getting that dynamic loft down. And then I'm gonna explain that if we try to just shallow that attack angle out a little bit, try and get that club head releasing a little bit through and across over the shaft, that can really help us to get a little bit of loft on the shot, and get it out there nice and high. When people are hitting their golf shots, they tend to be attacking the ball down this way. Okay, so steep attack angle, hitting a little bit across their body, and that dynamic loft is greatly reduced. So let's have a bit of a go and see. But that attack angle was minus 7.5 degrees. So you can imagine that my dynamic loft or my effective loft at impact is gonna be greatly reduced there. Ball went pretty low, okay? So the second shot I'm gonna play, all I'm gonna to try to feel is that attack angle is shallowing out a little bit. See if we can get a little bit more loft in our shot. Get that ball nice and high in the air. Stopping on the green, see how we go. At the tack angle on that shot was minus 4.6 degrees. Not gonna show you the dynamic loft just yet, but you can imagine that that loft at impact is gonna be a lot higher than the first shot. All right, boys and girls, let's look at the track man numbers and see how we went. So we got our two shots just here. Uh, I've got my numbers up here on track man and I've simply just put the one little thing that we're looking at today, which is dynamic loft up here on the left hand side. So it's quite important that we actually have a bit of a look at how the club is moving. Uh, and this really gives a good picture of what I was trying to do in that first shot just there. So we can see the attack angle in that first shot was negative 7.5 degrees. So that's 7.5 degrees down on the ball. Uh, in doing that also, and this is what I see in a few of my students, is that club path starts to get left. So minus 6.0 uh, degrees left. And if we're trying to get the ball up in the air uh, without ha having to open the face, uh, it's not a very effective way of doing it. We're gonna be hitting a pretty low shot there. So we can see dynamic loft on that particular shot, 20.4 degrees. Now I said before that my seven iron loft is about 34 degrees. And so we want that somewhere between about 30 and 34 degrees if we're gonna be trying to hit that around the height that we want. Now, if we go over here and we just click on this next shot down. So attack angle on that one was minus 4.6 degrees down on the ball. The club path and face angle, it's pretty good numbers just there. It's feeling like I was a little bit more shallow with the attack angle. And that's what it changes right there, that dynamic loft of 30 3 degrees uh, as opposed to uh, 20 degrees from before. Now guys, if this has really helped uh, with your game or you'd like a bit more information, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page and check up all on, on all our tips and tricks. The book me site down below and come and see us for a lesson down here at the Evolution Golf Lab. Until next time, happy golfing and I'll catch you all later.